good morning my dear students hope you all are doing great my dear students today i am going to start a new chapter all right and the name of the chapter is our skeletal system and the skin chapter number 8 now this is a very important chapter because in this chapter we are going to study about all the bones which are there in our body okay and what is their importance so therefore it's a very important chapter and i want everybody to pay attention all right so now let us see the introduction part i will just read and i will explain it to you so the various organs are safe within the body cavity the human skeleton is a protective shell for all the internal organs okay so there are various organs which are there in our body so for example you know there is brain okay in our skull inside there is brain all right then we have heart okay then pancreas liver kidneys okay stomach all these you know sense uh, delicate organs are there inside our body now these organs they are protected inside the skeleton okay so therefore we say that the human skeleton is a protective shell for all the internal organs okay so for example you must have seen a shell okay inside a shell there is you know small organism which is there okay so that organism is protected inside a shell okay then you also must have seen a tortoise now the body of a tortoise is very sensitive okay so above that uh, tortoise also you all must have seen a shell you know it's a hard uh, shell it is there so that shell also protects the body of that tortoise so just like them we also have a skeleton so this skeleton also helps and protects our internal organs sometimes when we fall while playing or have an accident a bone in our arm or leg may get broken okay so while playing you might have uh, got injured okay so uh, when this injury is there sometimes what happens you know the bone gets fractured okay so if there is a fractured bone then you have to take a lot of care so this is called a fracture of the bone a fracture in a bone causes severe and unbearable pain and the part with the broken bone swells immediately okay so what is uh, said over here is that when you get a fracture then that area it swells and there is unbearable pain okay so therefore the doctor tells you to take a rest and they uh, you know the plaster is also done in the fractured area so that okay the fractured area will heal okay uh, nicely so all these precautions you have to take okay if you get uh, fract if any like uh, body part or if the bone gets fractured okay so treatment for fracture so let us see what is the treatment for fracture okay so after an accident prevent any movement of the fractured part so for example if you if you met with an accident okay then if there is a fracture then you should uh, you should not do any kind of movement and the movement of the fractured part should be strictly avoided so immobilize it and get immediate medical help so immobilize it means what you should you know stop the movement of that particular part okay of the fractured part and for that plaster is done so in this picture also can all of you see there is a boy who is uh, who is like sleeping who is taking rest on the bed and the plaster is done on the leg okay so after going to the hospital an x ray image is taken of the part which is swollen so x ray is very important if you uh, got any fracture then the doctor advise you to get an x ray done so in the x ray we come to know which area is fractured okay so therefore it is x ray is very necessary now x ray what x rays were discovered by a scientist and the name of the scientist is wilhelm conrad rontgen okay so this is the name of the scientist so this is wilhelm conrad rontgen he discovered x rays now these x rays are very useful okay because in medical diagnostics x rays are uh, used all right so an x ray image shows whether a bone is broken and also the exact spot where it is broken 
okay so x-rays are very useful why because they not only show the area okay where it is broken but the exact spot where it is broken okay that is why it is very useful so this helps in providing the proper treatment okay so i hope you all have understood this now the human skeletal system okay so i will read this because see the human skeletal system is very important and you must know what is human skeletal system what kind of bones are there all right so that you will also learn how to take care of your skeletal system so all the bones in our body are not of the same shape every bone is different all right my dear students so all the bones which are there in our body they are not same they are different all the bones together form a framework or skeleton why we are saying it's a framework because they are arranged in a particular manner all right so therefore we say it's a framework or skeleton the skeleton gives a shape to the body okay so the skeleton also gives a shape to the body all right see we look like this it is mainly because of the skeleton if the skeleton is not there the body will not get the proper shape okay so all the bones of the body along with the cartilage together form the skeletal system bones are hard okay so all the bones of the body along with the cartilage okay so uh, the bones also includes cartilage okay together form the skeletal system and bones are hard we say you know bones are hard okay so they are not flexible for example your skin okay it is soft and it is flexible isn't it but the bones they are hard and they are not flexible bones are composed of two main constituents okay so let us see now what are bones composed of so bones are composed of two main constituents they are made up of bone cells okay so the bone cells are biotic okay while calcium carbonate calcium phosphate minerals and salts are the abiotic constituents of the bones okay so see what is bone made up of bone is made up of mainly you know calcium carbonate okay so it contains calcium carbonate and calcium phosphate some other minerals and salts okay and these are the abiotic constituents of bones and bones also contains bone cells okay so what is bones made up of they are made up of bone cells and it contains calcium carbonate calcium phosphate minerals and salts so calcium imparts strength to the bones okay so if the you know lack of calcium is there in your body so then your bones will become very weak they will become fragile okay and if your bone is fragile you will get injured very easily you know your your bones will become brittle and they will get broken very easily okay if there is uh, not good amount of calcium in your body and therefore you know it is suggested that we should have a good amount of calcium and where is the calcium present okay in the food items in previous chapter i have explained you this okay calcium is present in milk okay and in other food stuffs also calcium uh, calcium is present so it is mainly present in milk and all the pulses that we eat and therefore we should drink one glass of milk every day okay and calcium is also present in eggs all right so therefore if your diet is good then your calcium intake will also be very good and your uh, bones will be stronger all right so this was about the human skeletal system and we have to study in deep all right then types of bones okay so let us see now what are the different types of bones so bones of our body are classified into four types okay so here i hope you all can see there are four types of bones okay bones are not of same kind okay they are of different kind so there are four different kinds of bones first we have the flat bones okay i will just show it to you so here we have flat bones okay so these bones are generally flat okay then we have small bones so there are some very like small bones also which are there so they are called as small bones then we have irregular bones so irregular means their shape is not specific okay so therefore it is called as irregular bones okay then we have long bones okay so the long bones are generally present in arms and 
legs so they are called as the long bones so i hope you all have understood what are the different kinds of bones so there are four kinds of bones first flat bones then second small bones then third irregular bones and fourth long bones okay so i hope it is clear to all of you now this is a very interesting uh, picture all right you all can see the skeletons of various animals okay so in the movie for example din uh, dinosaur movie okay you all must have seen the skeleton of dinosaur so the skeleton of dinosaur is so huge you know they were big like animals and they got extinct you know many many years ago okay so first is the skeleton of dinosaur then there is a skeleton of fish okay and then i think this is the skeleton of a snake all right so all these skeletons are different all right because these animals they look different okay and therefore their skeletal system is also different so now let us see about human skeleton okay so we are going to study in detail about the human skeleton okay so the human skeleton system can be divided into two parts the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton so there are two parts okay in two parts the human skeleton is divided first the axial skeleton see all these names my dear students you have to remember all these names okay so now the first is the axial skeleton and the second one is the appendicular skeleton okay so now uh, you have to read the chapter so if you will read the chapter nicely you will understand you know about this very nicely reading is very important and writing you know the difficult spellings the hard words should be practiced okay so you all can practice these names the difficult names okay so the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton the spellings you have to learn so the axial skeleton consists of the skull the spine and the rib cage okay so the axial skeleton consists of what it consists of the skull okay the skull is present okay over here so this is our skull all right so the skull the spine the spine is the backbone you all can touch and feel your backbone so that is your spine and the rib cage the rib cage is the bones which are there in the chest area so if you just uh, you know touch your chest you will feel you know the rib cage or the bones which are there in the chest so these are situated symmetrically along the central vertical axis of the body so i will show you where this uh, central vertical axis is so for example this is the human skeleton i hope you all can see this is the human skeleton so this is the human skeleton and this is the central vertical axis okay and this is the skull okay can all of you see this is the skull all right so uh, in axial skeleton system what we have we have the skull okay this then the rib cage so this is our rib cage okay and the skull the rib cage and what else was there okay the spine okay very good so we have the spine the spine is present at the back side all right of the body so it is present behind all right not in the front for example the chest Uh, for example the rib cage is present in the front side and the spine is present on the back side of the body all right so i hope it is clear to all of you all right so the appendicular skeleton is made up of the bones of the upper and lower limbs so what are limbs your hands and legs all right so they are called as the limbs so the appendicular skeleton is nothing but the bones of arms and legs okay so the appendicular skeleton is made up of the bones of the upper and lower limbs on either side of the central axis okay so i will just show you once again so for example this is the entire human skeleton this is the central vertical axis and this is the axial skeleton axial skeleton is the skull okay the rib cage okay and the spinal cord this is your spinal cord can all of you see this is the spinal cord which is present in the back side okay now this was the axial uh, skeletal system then we have the uh, you can say arms and 
legs. So the bones of arms and legs are the appendicular skeletal system. I hope it is clear to all of you now. So as our body grows, the size and length of our bones increases. So you have to understand this, you know, it's like you can understand for example you know small child you all must have seen they are very small in size and when the child grows it becomes you know a man okay so the growth takes place and the bone structure also changes okay so the bone size of the bone also grows okay so as our body grows the size and length of our bones increases so such change so such changes in size and length can be seen in children according to age. So you can compare, you know, a six-month-old child and then a two-year-old child and then a four-year-old child. So you know how the gradual increase in the bone structure takes place. So with their height, you all can compare. So such changes in size and length can be seen in children according to age. However, the body continues to grow only up to a certain limit okay see the body it grows only up to certain limit because the growth takes place up to a certain age for example 18 okay is the age in girls okay so till 18 you know the growth in the body in girls takes place after that it stops so that means okay the uh, increase in height okay that also stops so and boys okay this increase in height or the bone structure it takes place till age 21 so after that also it stops so your bones will not grow further okay so the bones of taller people are longer so it is said that you know if you if there is a like tall person so then their bones will also be you know longer okay and short person will have short bones so that is what is explained i hope you all have understood this now next is the the axial skeleton now we will learn in detail about the axial skeleton so what will be uh, like what did we learn in axial skeleton do you remember it was skull okay what is present in axial skeleton it is skull okay rib cage and the spine three things are there okay so let us see now first the skull so the skull is formed by the bones of the head and face okay so the skull is okay the head okay and the face so this entire becomes our skull okay so here in the picture i hope you all can see okay so this is our head and this is the face so this entire is the skull okay so the skull is formed by the bones of the head and face the bones of the skull are flat and strong so the bones of the skull are flat and strong it is very strong okay so there are altogether 22 bones in the skull so how many bones are there in the skull there are 22 bones in the skull 8 in the head and 14 in the face so we don't even realize you know like so many bones are there in our skull so there are total 22 bones which are there in the skull so 8 bones are there in the head and 14 bones are there in the face except for the lower jaw none of the bones of the skull can move see this lower jaw this is called as the lower jaw okay so in the entire skull if we compare only the lower jaw is movable okay can you like you can also uh, uh, see this you know see the movement of the jaw only this can be moved Okay, none of the upper, you can say, bones can be moved. Only the jaw, lower jaw can be moved. We have an upper jaw and we have the lower jaw. But upper jaw also cannot, we cannot move. Only the lower jaw can be moved. Okay, so that was about the skull. And I hope it is clear to all of you now. So now let us see what we have next. Okay, the next we have is the spine, backbone or the vertebral column. See this spine or the backbone is very important because it gives support to your body right so this is the spine so if you want to feel the spine if you just touch the back side of your body you can feel you know the bones okay in the middle uh, portion okay on the back side you all can feel you know the bones that is nothing but the vertebral column and it is also called as the backbone or the vertebral column. So, how many names are there? Okay. See, there are 
three names okay for one particular uh, this type of bone so we call it as spine the spine okay or the backbone or vertebral column okay so the spine can can also be called as the backbone or the vertebral column so the spine is formed by padlock shaped bones placed straight one above the other so these are you know like uh, uh, these bones are placed one above the other okay and they are joined to each other so for example here can all of you see there are you know small small bones which are joined to each other in a line so this is called as the backbone it starts from the skull can all of you see from the skull it arises okay so uh, there are altogether 33 bones in the spine okay so there are very like small bones okay so there are almost you know 33 bones like that there are almost 33 bones in the spine each called a vertebra okay so the entire like spine is called as the vertebral column okay so the entire spine okay this entire spine is called as the vertebral column or the backbone and the single bone which is present inside the vertebral column is called as the vertebra so total how many vertebra are there total 33 vertebra are there inside the skeletal system so these bones are arranged one above the other flexibly okay so see your like uh, back portion is also slightly flexible right you can bend okay then uh, if you can see it is not a stiff structure okay it is flexible we say these bones are arranged one above the other flexibly so the movement can be done okay so the spine protects the spinal cord that originates from the brain so the spine it protects the spinal cord that originates from the bone okay see inside the spine okay or the vertebral column the spinal cord is there so the spinal cord it is protected with the help of the you can say vertebral column or the backbone so i hope you all have understood this now let us see the next one is the rib cage where is the rib cage present the rib cage is present in the chest okay so feel the uh, feel the left and right side of your chest okay so the rib cage is present on the right side as well as the left side okay in your chest so this is the rib cage this is how it looks so this is the rib cage all right so feel the left and right side of your uh, right sides of your chest with your hand or finger so with your hand or finger you can feel the bones in your chest so how many bones can you feel all together on the two sides check in the center all right so how many bones can you feel if you just touch it and you know you will come to know you know how many bones are there all right so how many bones do you feel the cage like structure in the chest is called the rib cage you know it is a cage like structure it is said cage cage in hindi we say it is like you know pinjada pinjada dekha hai aapne jisme you know birds ko hum rakhte hain so that is called as the cage okay or uh, in hindi we say pinjara right so just like that you know it is like you know it's like a cage so it is called as the rib cage so the cage like structure in the chest is called the rib cage in the chest there is one vert uh, vertical flat bone called the sternum all right so in the chest there is one vertical flat bone called the sternum all right so there is one flat bone and that is called as the sternum in the chest 12 pairs of flat bones called the ribs are joined to it sideways so this is the sternum it is a flat bone okay can all of you see this is the flat bone and then there are 12 you can say pairs of bones so we have one a two then three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so there are total twelve on one side and twelve on other side so there are total how many twenty five bones which are there in the rib cage we have the sternum in the center then 12 on one side 12 on another side so this 12 okay plus this 12 becomes 24 and then 24 and plus one uh, you can say bone which is there in the center called a sternum so total 25 bones are there so 
these 25 bones form the rib cage it is joined to the spine at the back so these you can say bones are also joined to the spine at the back okay so i hope you all have understood how it is placed so there are you know like uh, 12 pairs of bones 12 on the left side 12 on the right side then there is a sternum in the center and again it is attached to the spine at the back all right so that was about rib cage i hope you all have understood this okay so now uh, today's homework is what you have to do is you have to read the chapter okay and after reading the chapter what else you you have to do yes so you have to write the four types of bones which are there in the body so this is your homework what are the different types of bones which are there in the body so there are total four types of bones so you just have to write these types of bones in your body okay you don't have to draw any diagram right now when you will have to draw the diagram i will tell you which diagrams you have to draw okay so that's it in today's class my dear students we will meet in our next class okay so you all have a nice day